Oh, oh my god, I'm stopping. Hey everyone, it's Nietzsche Riley. Today's video is dedicated to me watching through my What's in My Baby Hospital bag video and telling you guys things that I use versus what I didn't use, advice and tips that I have on packing your bag. Let's get started with this video. And the bag that I'm gonna be showing you guys today is from Amazon. I paid about $30 or less for it. The first item that I have in the bag is the car seat slip that I'm going to be using to put over the car seat when it's time for him to go home i did use a car seat slip definitely especially during let me pause this i definitely use a car seat slip especially because i gave birth during the coronavirus pandemic or you know during covid19 because you can't physically put a mask over the baby the, the um slip came in handy to just cover him from any debris in the hospital hallways to the car and i still use that same one today actually bought another one but yeah sorry my extra neighbor walked past like said i'm off something for look i was extra me when i was pregnant next item that i have is a cellular blanket so the cellular blanket definitely came in handy both for the birth bringing him home and after because i still use that cellular blanket up until today because florida is very hot it's currently summer and one thing about Florida is it's well, it's consistently hot, especially during the summer months. This item I have is this car seat insert. I did not use the car seat insert. His head was big but not too small, so he didn't really need it for the first day, but I did end up using this after, and I still use it up until today, at least the straps part, not the um head part. The next item I have is a uh, towel just in case, you never know, he might need a towel after his first bath or whatever. I did use the towel and he basically didn't even get a first bath. It's like they forgot about it. I'm not sure if it's the hospital itself or if it was because of COVID-19, they're trying to limit the amount of exposure that the nurses have with the baby, but he didn't really get a first bath. He did, but it was after we requested it three times. And at that point, we should have just done it ourselves but we did use that towel it served as both a towel and a blanket the next two things i have are burp cloths this is to put on my shoulder or whoever wants to put him on the shoulder they can put him there i used the burp cloths not to burp him but as blankets because he was still small and we just kind of gave him extra cushioning because i don't know why hospital blankets are so tough but they wrap, they swaddle our baby, or yeah, they swaddle our baby up in some tough piece of blanket. And I was just grateful that I brought extra because my poor baby. I have two um, bibs just in case. I don't think I'm going to be using these, but you never know. I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital either, so it's good to just be prepared for whatever and whatever. I did bring bibs and I did not I did not use the bibs and I knew I wasn't going to use the bibs. Even up until this day, I really I rarely use bibs only when um because I'm breastfeeding, but when my flow is heavy, I make sure to Put a bib on him because it sprays all over on his face and his shirt and I don't like when his chest is wet I don't think it's good for one babies to, for babies to have their chest wet so that's what I use the bibs for but at the hospital you don't need to bring them the next item I have is a sleeper suit this is in size newborn I believe and this has his feet covered and it has um, a fold over that can Oh, I'm laughing because I really thought my big 10 pound, 22 inches baby was gonna fit in this sleeper suit. Him never fit at all. He did not fit. So when I tell you he didn't fit in this, it was just like, no. However, if I did bring a size that he would have fit in, I would have put it on him because it was easy for us instead of having to layer him with socks and um, the sleeves but to be honest we didn't even put him in any clothes he was basically without clothes the three days that we were there because he 
we did a lot I did a lot of skin to skin with him and obviously socks I bought them in newborn and one month these are from Carter's uh, mm -hmm. so I also got plain white newborn onesies all right let me just be honest he didn't fit in it anything that we brought for him none of the newborn he fit in no newborn clothes because you know, he wasn't he was big he was chunky enough but the issue that we had with a lot of these onesies is that he was so long his torso was very long and still is very long he was measuring at the size of an average two month old so basically i pushed out a two month old baby he didn't get to wear his going home out because he didn't fit in it but definitely um when you're packing clothes for him or when you're packing clothes for your baby make sure that you're packing multiple sizes i did end up using the socks because his feet felt cold he fit in the socks thankfully but those socks only lasted about um one month which is okay i have water wipes just in case he needs them yes i love water wipes they're recommended by the eczema association i believe and they're just beautiful 99.9% .9 water 0.1% is some grape extract it works well on my baby skin i personally want them to use this noodle and do it's a newborn two-in-one wash it's hair and body wash it smells beautiful 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 <laughs> it's noodle and boo and i love it i still use it up until this day the lotion smells beautiful the soap is beautiful everything about it is beautiful so yeah brought some germex because we are currently in a pandemic while at the hospital i definitely used it even though the hospital had their own hand sanitizer everybody was coming in and using the pump like it, it was like the one that you touch and pump out and all the nurses that came in to check up on us used that same pump so we just ended up using our own because yeah got 10 newborn diapers and 10 size one diapers he did not fit in no newborn diapers he fit in size one diapers the hospital had to the hospital originally gave us some um newborn diapers for the first few days and they had to take them back because they didn't fit him it was a very interesting experience to give birth during the coronavirus pandemic what i would um advise for you is to bring multiple sizes of whatever articles of clothing you're bringing or diapers you're bringing i know people are giving birth during the corona pandemic so if you're interested in hearing my birth story and things advice and tips that i would give to you uh comment below or direct message me on youtube because you can do that now and i'll get back to you um this video is very rushed because my baby's crying downstairs so i'm gone but like and subscribe Bye.